This video shows how to use if-then-else blocks to make decisions in code. In computer code, we use logical expressions like greater than, is equal to, is true, etc. to make choices, and so the decision-making expressions and operators are all located in the logic category. For this example, I'm going to use the on button press block, so I'll start by going into input and dragging one out, and I'm just going to leave it set on A, button A, and we'll just use that for our example. We don't need the on start or forever block, so I'm just going to drag those to the trash. The code I'm going to write is going to display one of two icons, so every time button A is pressed, an icon will show up on the LED array here. And to do this, I want to create a variable, and we will assign it either the value of 1 or 2. If 1 is, it's going to show a hard icon. If 2, it's going to show a stick figure. So I'm going to go into the category variables, click on make a variable, and then I'm going to call my variable icon picker. And then click OK. So we need to set icon picker to a value at the top of the block. So I'm going to drag set icon picker out and place it in the on button A press block. And we'll keep that at the top of the block. We need to set the value of the variable to either 1 or 2. And so to do that, I'm going to use a random number generator, which is a math function. So I'm going to go into the math category. And the block I'm looking for is called pick random. So I'm going to scroll down and find that and drag it out and place it over the zero in set icon picker. Pick random allows us to set a range of numbers and our range is gonna be from one to two. So on this side, I'm gonna change that zero to a one and the 10, I'm gonna to change to a two. Next, we need to drag out an if then else block from logic. And we're gonna place that under the set icon picker. Then go back into logic and drag out one of the comparison blocks and place that over the true. Now get an icon picker block out of variables. Now this could go over either one of these zeros, but I'm going to place it over the left one for readability and consistency. And then we need to change this zero to a one. Now we need to add the icon. So go into basic, click on show icon, and drag that into the block under the if statement. And we'll leave that set as a heart. The next thing we're going to want to do is pause long enough for us to see it. And so I'm going to find the pause in this block and drag that under the show icon. And I'm going to set it to a half a second or 500 milliseconds. Now, icon picker can only be one or two. We've handled the one, so we don't really need to do the other comparison. It has to be two at this point. So we're going to handle that in the else portion of the block. And to do that, I'm just going to duplicate show icon here and then drag it down into the else and set it to a stick figure. And then duplicate the pause and drag it down underneath the stick figure. The final thing I'm gonna do is clear the screen. So I'm gonna go into basic and find clear screen and drag it underneath the if then else block. Now we can test our code. So make sure the code's running and you can tell because this has the stop on it as opposed to the start and then click on the A button. A stick figure shows up, and then it disappears. Click on the A button again. We get another stick figure. That means it must be two again. And then we get a heart for that one. So it all looks good so far. Um, but if you want to go a little farther and verify that it is a one or a two, just to make sure everything's working correctly, you could do that in one of two ways. The first way is to show the value of icon picker after we set the value. So I'm going to go into basic and select show number and then drag that under set icon picker. And then I'm going to go into variables and drag out an icon picker block and put that over the zero. Now we'll run the code. One and a heart. Let's click it again. One and a heart. Two and a stick figure. So it all seems to be working. The other way to test this would be to use the debugging capability. Before I do that, I'm going to drag this show number out to the trash. And then the next thing we we'll want to do is click on the bug here. And now it's in debug mode. So I'm going to step through the code. Now, and it shows right here, you can see icon picker is currently set to zero. So I'm going to step into the code says it's running, I'm going to click on the A button. And now it shows icon picker is still zero. I'm going to take another step. You can see it's now at the beginning of the if then block. 
icon picker set to two. We'll click on it again. Sure enough, it goes into the else statement. And then the next thing we should be seeing is the stick figure showing up. Uh, it's pausing for a half a second and now it'll clear screen. Okay, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. I try to get one of these videos up every couple weeks, so subscribe to my channel if you want to know when a new one is posted. Also, I have a newsletter that has plenty of useful programming information. There's a sign-up link for it in the notes for this video and one on the Wonkets YouTube homepage. You can also check out my website at wonkets.com. Thanks for watching.